me. So I'm just going to gun to. Yeah, okay, so the video. I, what? People ask me every day for a little advice. The only thing I say is go and live your life. Now, what am I doing? I'm really struggling today. Hey guys, it's Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be doing the Power Makeup Challenge. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I still feel like... No, I don't. Okay, so I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, and I know it's like a really old challenge, but I just thought it's so cool, and like, it's just, I really like the meaning behind it. So I did this look today, and um, so half of my face has makeup on it, and half of, it, of my face has no makeup on it. And basically, the idea of this challenge is um, just showing you, like, how makeup, like, enhances your features and, like, but also talking about um, how you're comfortable with the non-makeup side. So, personally, for me, like, literally, I am so comfortable with the non-makeup side, but I love putting on makeup because it's super, like, artistic and I can do different stuff every day and it's, like, I don't know. I just, it's really fun and, like... It's awesome way to like express myself and just like what I'm feeling that day. And if I wake up in the morning and I'm like, ah, I feel like putting on like a cake face of makeup, I'll do that. Or if I feel like, no, I'm gonna sleep in, I'll do that. Um, sometimes I wear no makeup to school and sometimes I wear so much makeup to school. And either way, um, I feel perfectly fine. People come up to me and they're like, your eyeshadow looks so cool. And I just like doing that because people are really intrigued by it. But then again, I'm totally fine with going to school with no makeup on. I go like so many places with no makeup on. Like I'm super comfortable and I think that is so important because today I feel like with social media today, you see like people like contouring with like insane brows and like insane eye makeup and like really sharp wings and just super like very makeup makeup and that super in now like full face like um, full glam makeup and I feel like a lot of people are pressured into being like okay I need to learn how to do that to be like accepted or to be pretty or whatever but if that's not your thing like if you don't really care about makeup that much don't do it like you shouldn't feel like you have to wear it to be pretty because honestly at the end of the day you take it off and the person in the mirror is you like you don't change yourself by putting on makeup it doesn't change anything about you um, and I just, I think that's like super important um, to realize like you're still the same person and I can do whatever I want. Like I can do a crazy like green eye and like I literally don't care because it's just makeup and it'll come off at the end of the day. Like I'll go to school and if people are like, that's so like weird, why would you put green eyeshadow on? Because I want to, like, <laughs> like I just want to. Um, and it's like, I don't know, it's really fun and I, I don't think you should be pressured to wear makeup at all. Like not even like full glam, like you shouldn't be pressured into, like you shouldn't have to know how to contour, like highlight if you don't want to, if you're not interested in it, don't do it. Like if you're watching this video and you're like, I need to figure out how to do my makeup so I can be like, like all these other girls, then I know that's super cliche, but like turn off the video, like that's kind of what it's about. Like, if you like doing it, do it. If you're into something else, if you would rather, like, sleep than do your makeup in the morning, then sleep. Like, do you, and um, I'm going to do me. And I did the Power of Makeup Challenge to show you the power of makeup and how you can use makeup to enhance your features, not change your features, not change your features. Did you notice I didn't say change them? To enhance them. And I just think it's super awesome and fun. So that's my little spiel. Um, sorry about my rant. That's just kind of what this video is about. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how to get this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, I have no clue why the lighting is so yellow in here, but it's fine. I'm using natural lighting and my window's open, but. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just put my hair up. So now I'm gonna pry my face with the Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser Primer from Maybelline. That was a lot of primer, I just sprayed it out. And I'm just going to apply this to this side of my face because that's where I'm doing my makeup. 
All right, now that my face is primed, I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to my eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this Bobbi Brown concealer in ivory. And this is the concealer and powder compact. And I'm going to, I think I'm gonna take it on my finger first and just, I'm using this to keep my eyeshadow in place, but I'm also, um, using it to cover up like the redness on my eye. Notice how I didn't say eyes because I'm only using it on one eye. And then I'm going to set it with the same powder that's in there and a Real, Te Te <laughs> Real Techniques setting brush. This just gives me a really nice space for my eyeshadow. Since I have it here, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and just put a little bit on because it's here. I think I'm gonna do the Too Faced um, Power of Makeup, because that's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to be using Ivy. I just, I've like fallen in love with this color. I did a review and tutorial with this palette, so if you want to, you should get, you should go check that out. So I'm just going to take this and put it all over my eye, from my brow to all the way down my lash line. Ah, I was gonna do a cream base. Should I still do that? Okay, well first I'm gonna take Painkiller from this palette because it's a really nice transition shade and it's really pigmented. It's this color right here. And I'm going to be blending that into my crease with a wet and wild blending brush or crease brush. I think this is a crease brush. I'm gonna take, now it's not, okay, cool. Um, the CoverGirl Bombshell Shine Shadow and Bombshell, try saying that five times fast. Bombshell Shine Shadow in the color Copper Fling. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. I think I'm just gonna do it with my finger because that's just what I wanna do. And I'm just going to apply that on my lid. I should probably like zoom you guys in for my eyes. So dumb. Now I'm going to take this Laura Mercier eyeshadow in terracotta and this is the baked eye color. It's so pretty. Like it that's so pretty. So I'm going to take that and put it on the outer and inner corners of my eye. All right, I meant to do this step earlier. Um I'm going to take some tape and just Put it on like right here. So I can just get like a nice sharp line. I think we need a little bit more dimension. So I'm gonna take my 35O palette and I'm gonna start with this kind of like reddish color right here and then I'll probably dip into this color as well and just apply that in my crease with a bit smaller crease crease brush. This is from It Cosmetics so I'm just gonna kind of dip into those two and work that into my crease and like on the outer um, V of my eye as well. Now I'm gonna dip in to the darkest color, focus, I'm gonna dip into the darkest color of this palette and put that on the outer V as well. Now I'm gonna take the blending brush that I use the transition color on with no extra product and just kind of blend this up. So it's like really seamless and there's no harsh lines. Cool, okay, now that that's blended pretty well, I think I'm gonna go back in with that cream eyeshadow and where's the brush? And um, a little like precise brush, I, I don't know what this is called, this is by Wet n Wild. And I'm just gonna take that and put it, kind of make like a cut crease. And draw. I'm gonna draw a little bit above my actual crease because like my eyes are weird. <laughs> so I don't have like a lot of lid space. 
so I'm gonna make it look like I have more than I actually do. That's one great thing about makeup. If you don't like your eyelids, just make them bigger. Am I right? And then if you realize, wait, I actually like my eyelids the size they were, then you can just take it off. Like, it's, it's, it's all good. It's experimenting. It's like a process. It's fine. Like, awesome. So now, before that dries, I'm going to take this, like, warm, like, darker gold color and put that on my eyelid. And then I'm going to take this gold right here and mix it with this color. This is like, uh, that white color is more of like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's more like foiled, like it's got a little bit more cream to it. And I'm just going to pack that on as well. Now I'm going to take the Too Faced sketch marker. I like this. I I don't know which one I like better. I don't know if I like my Kat Von D one better or I, they have different like things that I like about them. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But I'm just going to draw a wing where the tape is. So give me a second. Let me just. As you notice, like mine is more out instead of up because my eyes are really tiny. <laughs> So I find that if I draw it out, it makes my eyes look bigger instead of drawing it up. Which makes it more dramatic, yes, but like, do I have a problem with that? Not really. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the L'Oreal Luminous Mascara. Jaclyn Hill, I see you girl. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to my lashes my upper lashes so we're gonna be coming back to the eyes later on um i just went into my bathroom to get my tweezers and in the lighting in there this looks so pretty like i don't know if you can like see it on camera but it looks beautiful i've never like done this before like try to put the cream pigment on and then like eyeshadow over it so i might do that more often now Wait, I saw this trick. You have to go. These lashes are very dramatic. Bro, can you like stay in my phone? Thanks. All right, I'm just gonna curl my lashes together. Now I'm gonna be taking my Born This Way uh, Too Faced foundation in porcelain and a Bare Minerals um, Precision Face Brush. And I'm gonna pump just a little, like like half a pump on maybe one pump and just put that on my face. So now I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and kind of dab that in to my skin. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna take my it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And I'm not gonna apply it with the foundation brush because the foundation brush I have like soak, not foundation, concealer brush I have just like soaks up the product. It's like really big and nice. It's the Wet n Wild one and I like it for that, but I just feel like it like soaks up the product and just, I like it better. And my other one's in there and I don't feel like going to get it. My other concealer brush. So now I'm gonna use this to highlight my face. So, this is really awkward. What shape did I just make? Good job. And then I'm gonna take that same Bobbi Brown concealer that I used and just cover up a little spot I have right here. Of course, I chose the side of my face that has the acne because, well, this is the side that has a good eyebrow, so. So now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just dab that in. Okay, now I'm gonna bake my face. I haven't used this in forever. This is the Maybelline Master Fix. And I'm going to actually take 
um, a little one of these sponges just because I also haven't done this in forever and I just want to see how it turns out. So I'm just going to tap that under my eye. I would like to figure out if this has like flashback because I've never like taken, I don't think I've ever taken a picture with it. I know the um, Makeup Forever HD one, the translucent one that's like white has a lot of flashback. Um, so I usually don't wear that one like when I know I'm going to go take pictures, but I don't know about this one. So if you know if this has flashback, would you tell me because I really want to know and I don't want to like try it myself, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to put some right here where my contour is, right under my cheekbone. That's good. Okay, so I use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I really like this. It's really cheap and um, it makes my eyebrows really dark, but like I like that. Um, <laughs> So, but I really like the cream or whatever it is in here. It's like, not like a pomade. It's not that thick, but it's not like, I don't even know how to describe it. I really like it though. Yeah, this is my good brow. The other one gives me a lot of problems. So that's why I chose this eye. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and try the, put the put it into the powder and do the front. I like doing this with powder because it makes it look less blocky. Okay, good news and bad news. The good news is I fixed my eyebrow. The, s the bad news is my card is full. This video is taking way longer to film than I had originally planned and it's probably going to be a very long video. So if it is, I apologize. All right, so I'm just gonna contour my face with the Butter Bronzer by Physician's Formula. I like this bronzer because it's not too, it's pretty like neutral toned it's not like too warm or too cool so you can like contour with it and bronze at the same time girl so i'm going to take a little brush this is a, a eco tools brush and i'm just going to contour the side of my nose i really like this bronzer for contouring like my nose especially because it's not too harsh and it like just you know it's not like super i don't know i just like it Oh, okay, I'm going to take this stippling brush from um, Wet n Wild and I'm just going to kind of bronze my face. Like instead of just, instead of contouring, like contouring, I'm just going to kind of bronze it up. Alright, cool. So now I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics CC powder. I'm going to take a smaller powder brush and and just like pack this into my skin to give me a really flawless airbrushed look. I'm going to take my Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso and put that on my cheek. I usually use like a little smudger brush, but I'm going to actually, I'm going to use, I really want to go back in there again. I'm going to use this like liner brush and take painkiller and put it on and then I'll like smudge it out with like a regular brush. <laughs> then I'm gonna take, what did I use? Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier, that color again, and put that under my eyes as well. We're just kind of like doing the same steps we did for eye, I did. Um, on the lid, so. All right, now I'm gonna take that Morphe 350 palette and go into this terracotta color shade and then um, mix it with the darkest color in the palette and put that more on the outer corner. All right, and then I'm gonna take some of that gold color. What? <laughs> I, just, I just went down and my fingernails went into the palette. Oh my gosh, now it's all under my... I hate myself. Today's been so ratchet. Like, when I'm gonna edit, when I'm editing this video, I'm gonna be like, what the heck is wrong with you? Wait, I have an idea. Oh my gosh, what if I used... What if I used this irresistible color from the... Oh, I bet that looks so pretty. Okay, focus on my face, please. Yeah. And I'm just gonna put that on my lower lashes. It's my favorite part of the day. I got a 
text message. We need to leave around 6.30. Well, that's awesome because it's 6.14 right now. And I, okay. I realized, okay, so I got like a thinner fan brush and I realized how much I love the Sona Kashuk one because it's so thick. So I'm gonna take my Jeffree Star Skin Frost. So pretty, like I just can't. It's so pretty. I just can't. I'm gonna take I love this brush. This is a Sephora like highlighting brush or whatever, number 80. And I'm gonna I like love putting my highlight in my own inner corner with this. And then under my brow, it's like you can do anything with it. Nose, especially for your cupid's bow. Now I'm gonna take my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick and I just overdrew it really weirdly. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams and put that in the middle to kind of do a little ombre thing, ombre. All right guys, this is the final look. Um, this was the Power of Makeup Challenge. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.